I was not going to get tested. I was just going to have my husband get tested because I was sure it was my husband. And then the doctor was like, are you sure you don't want to be tested? And I'm like, okay, let's just do it. I'll go for a blood test. And yeah, to my surprise, it was, it was me. My son went for a physical late last year. He was diagnosed in December. Um, he went for a physical, had blood tests. We were complaining of nosebleeds, which we have since he was two. Um, Test came back up normal and we were uh, referred to a hematologist. From there, a hematologist tested him. He came back with uh, three blood disorders, von Willebrand's disease, factor seven, and protein C deficiency. Um, from there, my husband and I were both tested, which I was sure my husband was the carrier. <laughs> and we've never heard of blood disorders ourselves, so we never thought about that. Um, hematologist uh, test came back. They said that mom is the carrier. So I was diagnosed with von Willebrand's disease. I think I was lucky. I had a blood transfusion at the age of 13. I needed two units of blood transfusion. And the same thing, I went for a sports physical. And the doctor from there said, um, your hemoglobin is super low. We went to the hospital and from there I stayed a week. I had two blood transfusions. They did um, every test that you can think of as far as, you know, colonoscopies, checking for internal bleeding disorders checking for brain bleeding, you know, it, but they never tested for a blood disorder. They tested for cancer, they tested for anything that you can think of. This was like months and months of tests after being discharged. Having Bob Willebrands is not going to stop you from living your normal life. Uh, you can still, you know, do everything that you like to do. Just being more cautious and aware of now that if anything happens, you'll be prepared.